Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to take a uh, inboard engine out at home um, with an engine hoist and um, a chain fall. I bought them both at Harbor Freight. Uh, you can see here the uh, engine's rigged up into the hoist, but this is how it starts. I took most of the weight off the engine, so all the front accessories, the heads, the intake, left the transmission on. So it's, it's almost like a short block with the transmission. Um, plywood's there to protect the fiberglass and you put the hoist right over it, chain it up and it pulls right out. Um, I moved it to the rear. Again, uh, the rear of the boat covered in uh, plywood to protect the fiberglass. Uh, laid the engine down just to um, maneuver the hoist better. And this is it. As you can see, the hoist legs are all the way up against the side of the boat. Uh, it can't go any further, and the engine now is suspended straight up. Um, not as high as it can go, but enough to clear the uh, transmission over the side rail. Here's a look into the hole and some of the bracing. I used a 2x4 there on the uh, left side, you see. Um, just to put that under the plywood, give it some more strength, um, because one of the hoist legs was rolling right over that spot. And... Here is the larger opening. Um, in the center there, between the two engine hatches, I use the factory um, fiberglass piece, the bridge that goes over that, and just put plywood on top of it to protect it. All right, now here we are at the back of the engine again. This is the, uh, it's kind of, I'm going to call it a bridge I made, uh, a step stool, a, uh, I think it's a, it's a eight by, two by eight over to the side and this is what I laid the oil pan on and pushed it over the edge of the boat. This is the engine hoist. I used uh, 60 times 3, so we got 180 pounds of uh, ballast on the back. And I, I'm not sure if I needed it or didn't need it. I just did not want to take a chance with the engine um, suspended out to the side. These are, uh, this is a, a piece of 2 by 4 I stuck in the ground and then nailed a couple small sheets of plywood to it just, just in case if the engine came back, it wouldn't hit the side of the boat. Just kind of drug down, lowered down on the plywood. And you see the angle of the hoist here. I can't get it any further out than that. But the chain fall takes up the angle. And once you put the oil pan on that bridge and push the engine over the side, um, the chain fall does the rest and you just lower it slowly. And you can lower it from here all the way to the ground. Or what I did is I backed my pickup truck up to it and uh, put it right in the bed of my truck and drove away. Um, everything pretty, seemed pretty sturdy and safe. I didn't, I didn't hear any excessive uh, cracking or you know any shifting of, of anything. Um, with that ballast on the back of the hoist, the wood to protect all the hull and the fiberglass and the, the, the side rail of the boat, um, the whole process went pretty smoothly. Um, the only, the, the one jarring spot, as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, was the actual engine, uh, when it, when it left the side hull. So it's on the bridge, on the oil pan, and you, you make that transition. So you're going from the, the engine weighted on the boat, you push it over the side. And, you know, there's, there's a small inch or two inch drop there, kind of jerks the chain, makes it taut. But again, I never felt like there was any danger or anything. Um, the, the hoist, the, the engine lift itself was pretty sturdy with the ballast on the back. And uh, once it's over the side, you can lift it up and, uh, and lower it. But you can't, you can't really move the hoist because you've kind of run out of space. But other than that, uh, I plan on putting the, uh, both the engines back in the same way, same way I took them out. And, uh, and, and just a short block of the transmission bolted on. I'll put them on with the same weight, put them in the holes, and then bolt the accessories on once they're in. Anyway, guys, I couldn't find any uh, good links on the Internet um, on, on how to do that, so I thought I'd give you a tutorial on how I did it. Thanks. Bye.